Hi, we're Ginger and Greg. We're converting a 4x4 Freightliner ambulance into the expedition rig of our dreams. Today, we install our great solar panels and learn the hard way that you should never break the golden rule of measure twice, cut once. Welcome to the roof of our ambulance. Today is solar install day, and we're really excited about this for a couple of reasons. Number one, personally, I am very excited because this is my first big project back in the shop since I had pneumonia. So I'm really excited to be back out here and working on the ambulance with Greg. Number two, this is the first project that we can do in a day, or at least we think we can do in a day, and we will see immediate results. Up until this point, everything has taken weeks, or in the case of the electrical, a month. So this is something that we can knock out and immediately feel, you know, pretty accomplished. Or at least we hope. Number three goes along with number two. Greg would like a break from doing the electrical wiring. Yes, there is some wiring involved in this, but <laughs> nothing like what he's been doing. So for our solar panels, we are once again partnering with Grape Solar. You guys might remember that we've used Grape Solar on our current rig for the full 18 months that we've been on the road. And you may remember the story of us backing into a tree, ripping off our refrigerator vent, and breaking our ladder. But our solar panels were completely unscathed from that incident. We've been really happy with Grape Solar. The quality of the panels is very, very good. And so we are excited to use their panels again on this build. Now, currently we have the 180 watt panels, and on this build, we're gonna be using four of their 300 watt panels for a total of 1200 watts. So for our solar panel install, we are not going to be bolting through the roof. I know that for a lot of people who are adding solar to their existing um, RVs or even on a van conversion, one of the main concerns is bolting through those roofs and creating a point of potential leakage in the future. So we're gonna show you how to install your panels without bolting through the roof. We're also gonna show you how to make your own DIY brackets for your solar panels. And lastly, we're gonna show you how to make a DIY solar combiner box. So lots in this video, we hope you find it helpful. All right, enough talking about it. Let's get these panels up. All right, so I'm gonna go on the ceiling of the ambulance, or on the roof of the ambulance to uh, check how much curvature there is on it, uh, because that may or may not make our life difficult. So let's hope not. So I think it's not too bad, it's almost flat. So the way that I'm gonna mount those panels are, I'm gonna cut four um, brackets, basically they're gonna go on each side of the panel. Uh, they will be glued to the ceiling or to the top of the camper. And on the panel side, I'm gonna have a nut rivet. I will screw directly into the frame of the solar panels. Knock on wood, I was gonna say this is not wood. Knock on wood, it's gonna be good and work perfectly. Obviously, there are pre-made brackets that you can use, and Grape makes brackets that we used on our last installation. They work great if you're bolting into your roof, but they're only about two inches long, and so if you're going to be using something like Sikaflex to adhere your panels to the roof, you need more mounting surface to create a better bond with a bracket and with the roof. All right, here are all of our brackets. They have been drilled, cut, and filed on the edges. So they are all ready to go. Not bad. All right, so we are ready to put our brackets on the solar panels. So. Greg's going to drill through the frame. Keep in mind, if you drill through the panels like we did, it does void the manufacturer's warranty for the panel. Yeah, so the quality of this panel is really good. Uh, I mean, Grape Solar did a great job with the frame. Um, there's actually two, I don't know if you can see, but there's basically two layers of uh, aluminum. So the frame is really, really strong. So yeah, I was surprised drilling through it to feel the drill go through once and hit the second piece of the frame and again, so cool. So we're attaching our brackets to our panels using nut rivets. 
Uh, the reason we're doing this is we want the brackets to obviously be attached very securely, but we also want to be able to remove the panels from the brackets if we ever need to um, get to the wiring behind or troubleshoot anything. So I'm going to show you over here on the one that we already have mounted up. So if you were to, you know, attach your panel behind this bracket, then once it's mounted to the roof, to get that off is going to be a nightmare. You're going to need, you know, a special tool to get back behind there, and it's just not going to be easy to get off. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these nut rivets. They're super convenient. Basically, it's a nut that you rivet on. That's where the <laughs> nut rivet term comes from. Oh my God. Okay, so basically it's a, Greg says, a nut rivet is a nut that you rivet on. Thanks, Greg. All right, so Greg's going to put a washer down, and then he's going to put some of this medium strength thread locker on the bolts, and that is to help um, the bolts not to vibrate loose when we're going down rough roads, doing medium strength, because obviously we still want to be able to remove them if we ever need to. So before we put the panels on the roof, Greg is going to make our DIY solar combiner box. Um, if you are buying a combiner box, don't need to see that. I'm going to drop the time code here, 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 somewhere on the screen so that you can jump back into the mounting of the solar panels. Today we're going to make a DIY combining box, combiner box. Um, so this box will be used to combine the solar panels together to go to the solar charge controller. Um, that box is on top of the roof by the solar panels and um, so it needs to be waterproof. And I'm going to show you how to make that. You will need a, a box outdoor rated. Um, so what I bought for us, it's we'll have four solar panels. Those solar panels are going to be connected in two strings, which means that we will have two solar panels in series. And these are going to be in parallel with the two other solar panels. So a total of four. That means that we will need to make four holes in this box. Um, so two for the one string and two for the second string. Ginger will put the links in the description with all the different components that you need to do this project. So one thing that you will need, it's uh, one of those uh, wire fitting that is like uh, waterproof. So this will allow you to, so once you have the, a hole in the box, you'll be able to put that through the box and the wire will go through it. And inside of it, basically what you have, it's you have like a, a piece of rubber. And as you tie that down, it's basically going to seal around the wire. You will also need uh, to connect those wires uh, together. And to do so, we'll basically make um, our own terminal point. Uh, so to do so, I have a piece of uh, plastic. Uh, it's hard plastic. I believe this is a white nylon. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to, uh, to make it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You need some nuts, bolt with washer and um, split nut, a split washer. Um, so those are in stainless steel and they are uh, eight millimeters ring terminal uh, to be able to go over the bolts so like so they need to be the right diameter and uh, all the crimping tool to be able to crimp the wire to it you will also need some sh uh, shrink tube you will also need some PVC cement you need a heat gun so the box in my case the box is open on both end so I have plugs that I'm gonna attached to it and you will need a piece of plastic uh, tubing this is just to go through your roof so let's get started all right so for now i'm just going to take the cover so the cover uh, is where the wire is going to go through in our case i think it's easier such a way that um, when you have the wires inside and stuff like that uh, you can still open it, have access to the bolt that's going to be holding all the wires and um, disconnect or connect more. Or... 
So I'm going to just take the cover for now, put that aside. Um, basically, I'm going to have four of those in here. You'll start by drilling the hole for your four fittings and then putting the fittings in the lid of the box. Okay, so in order to make the connection, so we have this piece of plastic and we need to inbuild this uh, nuts and bolt or bolt into it. So this is one inch by half inch and we're going to be cutting it to whatever size we want. Basically going to mark where those screws are going to be. This is half inch, so we just want to make a hole of a quarter of an inch deep. Stick it inside the box. And there it is. So now that we'll have to crimp the wires to uh, the terminals to be able to connect them. So not to forget to fish the wire through where the connector the connection is going to be otherwise we'll have to cut it and recrimp it so the box is ready for installation so now that we're ready to put our panels on the roof it's probably a good time to talk about how we're actually going to be connecting them we're going to have four panels two panels will be connected in a series and those two series strings will be connected in parallel so I've got a diagram to explain how that is going to be accomplished. So let's look at that. So our panels come from Grape Solar with positive and negative terminals already on them. In order to connect panels one and two in series, you're gonna take the negative from panel one and connect it to the positive from panel two. You're gonna take the positive from panel one and connect it in your combiner box. Then you're going to take the negative from panel two and connect that in the combiner box as well. This makes panels one and two connected in series. In our case, we modified our solar extension cable by cutting it and crimping on new ends to go into our solar combiner box. I'll link the materials we use to do this below, and I'll also link the wire that has the connections already made for you. You'll repeat the process to connect panels three and four in series. Now you have two series strings that are connected in parallel. Connecting our panels in this way gives us higher voltage and lower current. We want the higher voltage because our batteries are 24 volt. The lower current means we'll have less loss and we can use a smaller cable size. The main reason we made our own solar combiner box is so it would be low profile and fit underneath one of our panels. So we decided to install that first before gluing down our panels. So this is the point in the project where we make a very preventable mistake. Making a mistake is always hard, and for some people it's hard to admit, but when you make a mistake and then you put it on YouTube, it's even worse. We broke the golden rule of measure twice, cut once. Our first hole was off by about half to three quarters of an inch. Not much, but enough to make a difference. All we can do is fix it and move on. Greg cut a patch from some scrap aluminum, and we'll seek a flex that down and put some caulk around it just for good measure. Not too worried that that's gonna leak once we do that, but again, the whole point of seek a flexing our panels to the roof was to limit the holes on the roof, so making an extra hole by mistake was definitely a bummer. So I have the wires now for the c connection between the junction box and the solar charge controller, so I'm just gonna fuse them through the hole. I did not cut them yet, so they're going to be way longer than they need to because I just want to uh, cut them to the length that they need to be. No shorter, no longer. Okay, so on that end, I already fused the wire through the piece of PVC that's going to go through the wall. And I already crimped the terminals. And I am gonna pass the wires through so it's gonna be a tight squeeze but hopefully it's not gonna be an issue and so we just have to put red on red all right so now we just have to close up the box with the screws on each end and that's it final part just 
you just need now to seek a flex the box to glue the box to the roof and when that is done we just add some cog around to make a good seal and that should be it we're going to be mounting our panels with Sika Flex 252. I mentioned this morning that we're not going to be putting holes in the roof for the mounting of the panels. Sika Flex is an amazing adhesive, but what you need to know is that once you adhere something with Sika Flex, do not plan on taking it off. So you need to be 100% certain that you have it in the right spot and that you don't ever want to take it off. Because our roof is aluminum and our brackets are aluminum, we don't need to use any kind of uh, surface preparation from Cicaflex. If your roof is not aluminum, you need to check Cicaflex website because there are some um, adhesion promoters and different primers depending on your base material. And now we can finally install the solar panels. I'm so happy to be done. I like doing the inside of the solar panels. Really? Yeah. I'm just glad it's over. You know, ask me why I like it. Oh, why do you like it? I like installing the solar panels because I think it's one of the easiest projects <laughs> we can do on the, on the camper, so. Yeah, but we did have our, our hiccups, obviously. Yeah, but. I agree though, it's probably one of the easiest projects that we're gonna be doing. I mean, it takes a lot of room on the roof, but uh, they're crucial for our setup. So yeah, I'm excited. And just to the other side of where you're sitting now is going to be our roof hatch, which is really exciting. That's why we put the panels where we did, so that we have room for our roof hatch, so that we can look up at the stars when we're laying in bed, and that'll also be our access to the roof. All right, so that was it for the build. This for this part of the build. If you're seeing in seeing the next part of our build, please, please subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.